Hi there, Lucy. Tin, you hear me? Wow, is this how phones used to be a long time ago? Well, not exactly like this. Communication sure has changed over the years, and that's exactly what our lesson is about today. Enjoy! What's communication? Communication is exchanging information or ideas. Quill pens were invented around the 6th century. They were the preferred writing utensil for about 1400 years. I want to try! Dear Mom, the winter has been hard. More ink, more ink. They worked well because the point rarely needed sharpening. The feather could be used until it ran out to the end, much like today's pencil. Many calligraphers still use quills today. Calligraphy is an art form, creating beautiful letters and handwriting. What changed next? The fountain pen was invented in the 1820s. The fountain pen was changed and improved upon for the next 100 years. Over that time period, both fountain and quill pens were used. Several other changes marked this period. Adhesive postage stamps were invented in 1837. Tiffany lamps became popular in the early 1900s. Phonographs were invented by Thomas Edison in 1877. The typewriter was invented in 1866 by Christopher Scholes. Improvements and changes were made, and over time, the typewriter became popular in homes. When first invented, the keys stuck together. It was suggested common letters were split up to slow down typing. This led to the QWERTY keyboard we still use today. Typed up my letter! The invention of the printing press in 1440 drastically changed the way information was circulated. The invention allowed for reproductions of print much faster than what could be recorded by hand. This eventually allowed people to gather information from sources like newspapers, magazines, and books. There is some dispute over who first invented the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell is widely credited with the invention in 1876. By 1919, the rotary phone was introduced. It would eventually be used for communication in many homes, only to be replaced in the 1980s by the push-button phone. Like dog toys in the backyard, these are the dogs of our lives. My favorite radio show! Radios began to become commonplace in homes around the same time as rotary phones. Televisions would begin entering homes widely starting in the late 1940s. Radio and television provide information and entertainment. Record players provide musical entertainment and became common in homes starting in the early 1960s. I think there was something. I was so. Ah! Online school! The first personal computer was introduced in the 1970s. Computers are now common and many people own several. This is a desktop computer. Computers are definitely a way to communicate. Some common ways are through email or online meetings. Um, hi Milo, hi Piper. We can even print our ideas. I love my mom. Mom, I have an important memo for you. This is a tablet. Lucy has pulled up a map. Hmm, where is it? Where is it? Oh, my phone! Cell phones have largely replaced rotary and push-button phones. They are very powerful computers and can do many tasks. What other forms of communication can you name? Wow! We seem to have gotten disconnected. Bye, everyone!